Hey guys, Flickfy here and welcome to another career mode player review. Today we're having a look at Yusuf Poulsen and this review was requested by George and Russell. So thank you for your comments and if you guys have any particular players you want me to take a look at or any nationalities that include some players that you're really interested in seeing, let me know down in the comment section below and I will try to get to those as soon as I can. Now that we're in the summer months and I don't have school anymore, for this summer at least, I'm going to try to get more of these reviews out every single week. But if you guys can continue to show your support on this series, let's see if we can hit 50 likes today. That would be awesome. And let's get into the review today. At the start of crew mode, Yusuf Poulsen is a 69 rated 20 year old striker showing great potential and has a value of 925,000. However, when you send Red Bull, Leipzig and Enquiry, they're going to say 6 million. I would suggest trying to pick him up for less than that. I know I picked him up for less than six million in my Aston Villa career mode, so it is definitely a doable task. And we'll take a look at his player information. He is six foot four, has ability to play striker as well as right wing. Preferred foot is his right foot, high, high work rates, three star weak foot, and four star skill moves. Has the flair traits and no specialties to start off with. But if we'll move on to his attributes, you can see he is pretty stacked in the physical attributes. 85 acceleration, 86 sprint speed at the start. Mental attributes really aren't the best, only 69 attacking positioning. And the technical attributes along the same lines, a lot in the high 60s and lower 70s. But let's take a look at what he looks like when he is 30 years old. Over the course of career mode, Poulsen manages to grow quite nicely, growing into an 86 rated player with a value of 35 million. He does manage to pick up the aerial threat specialty and he really grows across the board. He does manage to lose a bit of acceleration at the age of 30 and I think that's to be expected just because the player is getting a little bit older but it is really not too much of a deficit. I still think he is just fine where he is on his physical attributes but more importantly look at those technical attributes growth. Growing into a 98 ball control, 97 dribbling, 90 finishing, 90 heading accuracy and 91 shot power, 92 curve just to name a few and he really just grows across the board in those technical attributes. It would have been nice to see him grow a little bit more in his physical attributes, but I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons here in the goals and highlights to follow. For the purpose of this review, Yusuf Poulsen was a very easy player for me to review because I've already used him in my Aston Villa career mode. However, if you guys are using him for the first time, I would recommend giving a little bit of time to adjust to him. At least that was the case for me when I first started using him in my Aston Villa career mode. He didn't score a lot of goals at the start, but once you kind of adjust to him as a player, he does bag quite a few goals. And he's just one of those players you got to give a little bit of time to adjust to. But once you do, he's great. So let's get into the pros now. And the first one that comes to mind is his target man ability. He's six foot four. He has 90 heading and 80 strength. So he's the kind of player you can cross the ball into and he's going to finish it with either the head or just with his foot. He just managed to bag those goals. Also, he does have four star skills. So he can do a lot of those basic and effective skill moves, including the Ronaldo chops, Burba spins, which I use a couple of times in these clips. And those are just really effective to score some penalties and just cut inside. Also, his dribbling is quite good with 98 ball control and 97 dribbling. The ball does stick to his foot. And his speed is also quite good. 84 acceleration and 87 sprint speed, but he seemed a lot faster than that. Lastly, his finishing. By his stats, he only has 90 finishing and 79 long shots. However, he was able to really get a lot of shots on target for me. Getting into his cons, his biggest one, and really his only one, is his positioning. He does have high, high work rates and only 70 attacking positioning, so it definitely could be a lot better. But overall, his rating is going to be 9.2 out of 10, but his value for the price is going to be 10 out of 10 because you can pick him up for his actual value is a million at the start of career mode. So that is an insane price, and he managed to grow into quite a player. Hope you guys did enjoy this review today. If you did, drop a like down below, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next review, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon. What's up guys, Flickify here, and welcome to the return of the York City career mode. A ton of you have been asking for me to bring this series back, and here it is, but I need you guys to show your support on this series if you want me to continue doing these episodes.